All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legend series. We're up as a number three for today, and today we're going to be Let It Go. And Gold Wolf, thank you so much for the recommendation, but I am not looking forward to making this photo. But I guess it's time to make it, so let's jump right in. All right, so let's start off with a picture of Elsa, obviously. Um, and I'm thinking already from just looking at this first page, I love this because the meme format is just too good. So I'm going to grab this one, and we'll, uh, we'll jump into Photoshop and try to grab something to match this, <laughs> this, uh, this angle here. All right, I just searched myself up on Google as well. I think this is like a pretty good photo, matches the color pretty well to uh, Elsa here. So we'll check it out uh, and see if it works out. This is gonna be really bad. I can already tell as I'm erasing stuff that when I turn this into her head, oh no. Let me uh, let me do this real quick. So that's looking pretty good. I kind of want the hand to still be in there. So let's try to shrink this just the right height here. There we go. This is gonna be really bad. <laughs> you'll see. You'll see what I'll end up putting there. Let's put my face where it needs to be. The thing is, like all these anime faces. Like, they kind of, uh, dude, my face looks so weird backwards to me. Um, they kind of have, like, really big anime eyes. So I'm thinking what I do is, like that, I'm gonna go into liquify. Okay, nope. <laughs> this is not what I wanted to have happen. I kind of look like bug-eyed, but I don't know. Let me just leave it normal, actually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make myself transparent a little bit so I can actually see where I'm erasing. You know what? I need to kind of move the... Oh, dude, this is so squished. The face makes no sense. Oh, no. <laughs> I kind of need to, like, combine this and smudge it a little bit. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this, though. It's kind of working. Just some very orange around this, this eye. I don't even know why. Oh, God, it looks so bad. What happened? <laughs> oh, God. What have I done? <laughs> I'm going to restart. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, it took a lot more time than I care to admit. We're at 15 minutes into the recording. But uh, I think it was worth it. It's still pretty terrible, but that's kind of the whole point of this. So let's just move on. Oh, there it is. It's Let It Go. Like I said, that one took a lot longer than I wanted to ever spend on making one of these pictures. But I think it was worth it. I mean, maybe it wasn't. I have no idea. But there it is. Thank you so much once again for that recommendation. If you want to drop a recommendation in the comments, I'll definitely check out the most liked ones. But for today, we're actually already into, uh, I believe, yeah, we're around low to medium platinum. So by the time we're finished these 10 matches, we might actually jump into uh, diamond or so if we can win the last three. So let's jump into these games, see how they go. If you are enjoying this series so far and you enjoyed the last ep uh, the last series, uh, Road to SSL, I do daily videos here if you, if you didn't know. So make sure to subscribe to us so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Let's jump into these three games and see how they go. We got a quick queue into the first one. We've got uh, a bunch of sign up players. We got about 800 MMR. We're actually the highest in the lobby, it looks like. Yes, we are. So um, probably low platinum here. We're going to try and get an early read on the opponents and my teammates. See uh, where they where they match up. So I'm going to grab the mid boost. Wait behind my teammate. Seems like my teammate is rotating out possibly. So I'm going to wait, wait for the ball to pop off the wall. And I can clear it to the side. Opponent might make a clear here. So I'm going to wait behind. Good positioning by my... Oh, good play. Uh, good positioning by my teammate there. I'm going to try and rush, the, rush this ball and try and take the corner as well. What I'll do is just drive into this and pop it middle. And see if uh make a good block. They do. Make sure I get behind my teammates, let them know that I'm moving back. It's good to show the body language uh, to make sure that they understand. Right here, I'm going to wait on the backboard. Try to clear to the side if I can. And try to get a clear as well. So th there was someone waiting in midfield, but they were pretty slow. They're making awkward jumps here. Could be open for my teammate. Oh, no. So close. <laughs> it's all good, though. Um, right here, I am last. So I'm just going to wait behind. Both players kind of threw it away. Now he gave me a free ball so I can clear it around to the side. I have 55 boost. I'm going to wait wait to see what happens. So I'm going to wait for this guy to possibly make a touch. Same with this guy. I'm going to pop past this middle and see if anyone's ready. So no one was ready. So i got to keep that in mind for the next time. I might just pop it towards target instead. Seems like if my teammates aren't quite ready for a pass, I'm going to change the options up. Kind of get a good read. This is what happens in solo queue. You kind of get a read of what your teammates are going to do and whether or not you should make certain passes or not. Oh, bit of a misread from the opponent. Right here, I'm going to... Okay, I got bumped. <laughs> I was going to say, right there, because they shot it off backboard, I'm going to play as if I'm a shooter. But instead of uh, 
instead of being a net, I'm going to play as a shooter, but then just miss. I've talked about this a lot in previous episodes in the last series. If you didn't know, I have an entire playlist for uh, both both 2v2 and 3v3 starting now. We're in, this is like I said, uh, episode number three. But I think 3v3 is definitely going to be really interesting because there's a lot more players on the field and a lot more opportunities. Right here, I'm going to wait for something to happen. My teammate kind of rushed the ball and gave them a free touch, but it's okay. Good 50-50 right here. If I rush and boost, I could beat him to this. Just going to wait for the 50-50 as well. See how I stop for a second there? And I try to get a 50-50 with him. That's favorable. If I just go right away, there's a good chance that I'll hit it into him first. And uh, and what will end up happening is it'll actually boom behind me. So I'm trying to like get in a position where it'll work out for us. See if they make a touch. They do make a clear. I can actually let this bounce in mid here. Not the greatest because my teammate didn't, didn't take it. But I tried to leave it for him. Right there, I actually locked that, t that player into the, my bump. Um, which actually stops him from turning towards that boost. So it's good for me to lock him until the last second. This guy bumps me into the play and I can kind of clear it to the side. And get behind, wait for my teammates to push up. This is the ball I should wait for if he's going to go up for it. Nice touch for my teammate. Could be dangerous for them. Pop it around, see what happens. Good positioning. Good clear off the corner too. So this is where I should pressure because they're both throwing it around. And this is where I should take a shot. Um, in that position, I'm just waiting on the right side. Like I said, I'm always trying to make a triangle with my teammates. You see how my two teammates are in the corner. I'm trying to space over to the right. And then uh, Die Langs kind of passes the ball off into uh, open space for me. And then I can shoot at bottom right. So right here, I can just drive it up the wall and try to clear it. As you can see, naturally, I just want to grab the wall. Right here, I don't think I need to go up for this. It's a pretty tight angle, like I, th like I said. So right here, because he's last, I'm just going to push up and try to get the boost. That way, they're, they're starved. Kind of ends. Really good touch. All three of them went for that. So right here it is kind of open. So I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it off the, off towards the goal and see if they get a save. Okay, they did. Okay, I was actually going to pop that backboard and then I realized it was pretty open. So I'm just going to take a shot. Um, right here I could have uh, either went backboard or went for the goal. Um, at a higher level, I think uh, Mc McMartin, McMartin probably would have um, made the, the save in that position. So at a higher level, I probably wouldn't have went right for target. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to shoot on target sometimes and see what happens. Hopefully, sometimes it goes in, sometimes it doesn't. You don't really know. I'm going to try and move behind my teammates let them get involved. There we go. See if my teammate wants to shoot. Good try. This is a sh this is an aerial that I can go for. I'll try to shoot. I'm going to fake it a little bit. Definitely uh, open shot. None of the opponents were going, and there's another shot from Ray Hidden. So, well played. I feel like I'm doing too much, though. So, I'm going to try and slow it down. Yeah, I'm at 609 points. So, definitely on me. I just... I feel like I'm just not sure how much i'm doing like i never really pay attention i should try to watch the scoreboard and try to make it a rule of like not being at the top i don't know it's kind of hard like i, I still want to show what is good though <laughs> like i still want to show what is like, uh, like not optimal i'm not playing optimally by any means but i am playing like to this level sort of as much as i can physically without you know letting my muscle memory take over I feel like uh, I am still doing too much though. Like I'm making some pretty good touches and saves that might not have been possible for a normal player at, at an average rank like this. But let's, nevertheless, let's jump into the next game and see how it goes. Oh, also, I'd like to mention that my name is Let It Go, but it's all one word. And I think I did that on purpose because I was afraid that people might uh, recognize me too easily if I just have the word Leth right there. So I put it all together and I think it makes it a little more incognito. Um, but you know, sometimes being recognized is kind of funny. So. It's not the end of the world, but we'll see. We'll see uh, if anyone notices me with this name. It kind of looks like it could be another word or something. Let let hit go. You know what I mean? Like it could be something else. But that photo that just just, just peeking out from there is kind of creepy. Wait for this touch here. I am last, so I got to be a little bit patient. Even here, good catch for my teammate. Okay, my teammate is not moving. Good 50-50. A bit of a miss. If I go right on this challenge, I should be able to beat him. Could go on target too. Oh. Well, it was on target, but he should have saved that. I think he could have just backflipped. Kind of just let the ball roll in. That's not my fault. Okay, that's not my fault. I'm at the top of the scoreboard. Looks like I need to chill for the rest of this game. But uh, we'll see what happens with Mermaid Man and, and BG Craze. I'll try to pull a more reserved roll. Just make, make touches where I can. But at the same time, when I play a reserved roll, I end up being the one that gets saves and stuff. So let's see what happens with uh, <laughs> Pong Cloud. <laughs> Took a touch on the backboard. Good try for my teammate. Let them make saves and stuff. So both of them are creeping into the corner. I gotta be a little bit careful. Because any of these balls could spill at mid. I could rush to this. But at the same time, I'll just play patiently. End up missing. 
Can't get touched off the side here. Get follow up. Is that in? Oh, so close. So we're getting, we're getting, you can already see in these placement matches that the consistency is already getting a lot better. Um, let's see if I can pass this middle for my teammate. He is last. It's a little bit scary, but good play. Um, the consistency from the first game already, from the first episode, you can definitely tell. Even though the aerials are kind of scuffed for the most part. Right here, I'm going to wait for this ball to bounce out and then make a touch. It's not the greatest, but I can still follow it up with that touch. And now I'll back off. Once again, I'm doing too much, so I'm going to back off. Goes across. See the guy let go of the, the ball really quickly by touching the ball like with a flip? Um, he kind of gave it right to me. Uh, in doing so, I ended up flipping it away as well, but at least I keep the pressure. He's kind of trying to relieve pressure, but he doesn't do anything with it because he just throws the ball away. Same with this guy right here. Now Mermaid Man has it. Gonna make a tip towards the net. And it's a goal. Nice. He's not on top of the scoreboard yet, though, so I still have to chill. I'm trying to just do very little and just let my teammates kind of play around. They're actually rotating pretty well. So Mermaid Man's saying he's getting boost. Don't know which boost he's talking about. He's saying need boost, but he's not going to get boost. <laughs> That's fine. All right, this is open for Mermaid Man. Can you turn on it? Maybe? Oh, we got it. Nice. There we go. All right, he's on top. Now we can play again. So bad clear from 42 Russ. Ended up popping middle. I'm surprised Mermaid Man took so long to react to that. Like, it was right in middle. I guess he was hoping maybe someone else was ready for it. But he was definitely the one to shoot that. Good try. Once the ball pops up like that, I'm just going to move behind my teammates. Now I can move up, make it clear. Right here, I can get ready for the midfield touch. I just, don't, I just don't know if I should go for like stuff like this where I could turn on this super quickly. I, I jumped up for it immediately and I realized that I probably shouldn't. Also, I could follow this with 11 boost and maybe make a 50-50. But once again, that guy made a pretty decent read though. So maybe I can start to do like normal aerials. Good save though. I would have had that. Let's see if my man uh, stays with this. Good block. He's, he's kind of scared. Right, I'll get a 50-50 here. I'll go a little bit late. That way it stays with me. Decent touch. Someone uh, in my comments, by the way, uh, in the first episode said, Why is left playing so poop? And the reason is <laughs> that I'm trying to play at this rank. Um, I'm not doing a very good job of it, but good try. I'll pop this off the backboard again. Could have shot that, but see if my teammates can finish it. And there it is. But yeah, so like I'm trying to play at this rank. It's not really working as intended, once again, at the top of the leaderboard, just naturally, I'm trying to do my best. So we all have three shots, though. And Mermaid Man has two goals. But it's honestly just the little touches I'm making that are keeping the, the, the pressure and stuff. Right here, I'm going to wait for the touch. Sometimes it's good. Oh, I was going to say, sometimes it's good to, to fake it. There we go. Sometimes faking the ball and just letting the opponents touch the ball to you in certain situations is better. And you can kind of tell, like... In certain situations where like you have a teammate to back you up, I'll tend to uh, just bait them in. If I'm last, sometimes I have to go. It just really depends on how close I am to the net, how much boost I have. Oh my gosh, close on the shot. Pop this up nice and high. They're all panicking. Mermaid Man's really solid, actually. There we go. Nice. So yeah, Mermaid Man's pretty, uh, pretty consistent. He's got good aerials, good reads off the backboard. You can see he's ready for it, and he makes immediate shot. I feel like the start of the season is really awkward because everyone's MMR is kind of all over the place. But, uh, oh, and there's the leaves. So I think uh, I think the even my teammate was a little bit outskilled compared to the opponents on this one. But uh, I think we'll move on to the, the last game here. We got six goals. Worthless team, he says. It's all good, man. Oh, he's already gone. Oh, never mind. GG. Well played. Honestly, uh, Murray Man played pretty well. He's a prodigy. He got four goals. I set him up pretty well for some goals, but honestly, his rotations were pretty solid, and his and his uh, mechanics as far as like reading the backboard was solid too. Hey, Rocket Pass level three. Let's go. So I'm glad at least in the last game we were able to not be the top of the leaderboard. I think that's like kind of a good sign that like we're kind of playing close to what could be expected at this rank. I just I feel like in three v three it's even harder to tell because the rotations are all over the place. And the mechanics are very inconsistent. It's a decent try on the read. Bit of a miss, but that's okay. It's all good, Peck. My teammate also uh, pushed up really late. Um, right there. He was on the side with me. So Kia kind of made a mistake of being in no man's land as well. So kind of on him as well, honestly. 
I would actually say it's more on the fault of Kia because he was kind of cheating. And then just backed off and did nothing. So like being in the weird position. Like right here he's in an awkward position again. And uh, kind of cutting in front of me. He needs to jump up for this. So at least he is. Good try. Pop it up nice and high. Crawl makes a touch here. He should be able to be cleared if Peck needs boost. Okay. There we go. Decent try. Last player is pretty far away. I know that. So I'm going to use that to my advantage and try to take a shot from far away. Oh, good save. <laughs> I don't think that was intended, but it's all good. Right here, it's also good. I'll try to go up for it. I'm going to miss again. And he almost own gold. But it's decent play. I'm going to move behind. Oh, boost is gone. End up clearing it to me, though. Decent pinch. That actually might go in because the guy's going for boost. Let's go. Nice. That went the entire the entire length of the pitch. Oh, you got to love the, the, the platinum luck. Actually, this is a diamond player. We got a diamond two, oh, a season two diamond tournament winner. Wow. We're already in diamond in the placement matches, which is kind of incredible. Um, this season probably will be a little bit shorter as far as like my series, but um, that just means another series could start. So it's no big deal. But I do wish that I was able to, uh, I was able to, you know, start from bronze and help the people who are trying to learn in bronze. But hopefully in the, uh, the, the placement matches here, you could learn a bit. Get a decent flick. It's going to be the last player to collect this, though. Rock's going to clear back. Decent save. It's not the greatest because it clears up back to mid, but I was able to use my boost instead of clearing to mid. Um, oh. Oh, he missed. Okay. So right here, I can jump up for this early and try to pop this off the, bo the board. I end up getting a double touch because of the way that I angled it, and that guy just popped it towards net. They get a, get a save, though. That was pretty close. Decent shot. Is that open? Oh, nice shot. All right. Kia's uh, proving to be pretty good, actually. You know, a bit of nerves at the start, but he's got good shots in the corner. You know, Dominus can get pretty powerful clears like that. A really good angle. So look, see, like, you know, Kia's double our points. Basically, our points combined a little bit more, actually. I'll do a regular front flip. But you can see even uh, my teammate Peck there did a, a fast kickoff, speed flip. Okay, good try. Right here, I can boost back and get some pads as well. The way I pop that off the wall, it actually pops it off the curve. It was a 50-50. I'm going to leave that because it could it could have read that. But at the same time, this is uh, diamond. And I think that it's better just to let the rotation go through. I'm going to boost down the line here. I've talked about this in the, the last series. Um, how that line down the middle can get you like 48 to 60 boost. Um, and you can see how I cut it off that rotation while I was keeping my speed up. That way they don't get an immediate breakaway. See if one of them keep it. He could have caught that instead of popping it. Because you can see how that gives it back to the opponents. As I say that, they both miss. But it's the same idea. I'm going to pop this up. See if rock can, Rocker base. Rocker base. Once again, bad touch because it goes to the opponents. But see if my teammate keeps it in the net. Okay. End up missing. But good follow up. Regardless, Kia can clear to the corner. That's a good touch because it goes off the, uh, the little curve there. Oh, what the heck is going on, man? <laughs> what is that? Can we, review, can we review the footage real quick? Oh my god, what a fake. And a, and a good finish. You know, honestly, I think that only went in because he's got the Dominus. If the Octane tried to do that, it wouldn't have reached. So, well played. Good choice to the car. Kia playing pretty well. It's going to bounce down. I can know that, so I'm just going to wait for it to roll. I can be play pretty patient there. The other guy went for the corner, so I knew that it was going to be a bit of a race. And there's uh, another shot from Peck, so... Honestly, my teammates, my teammates are kind of popping off right now, so... I don't have to do too much. I'm almost at the bottom of the leaderboard, which is a really good sign. I'm just kind of trying to play that solid third. And uh, overall, played pretty well. That's going to be the forfeit. So I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Bit of an interesting uh, picture for this one. <laughs> I don't regret it, but uh, I don't want to look at it ever again. Hope you guys enjoyed the third episode of this series. Make sure to follow the playlist. I've got a playlist of all the episodes. And uh, make sure to subscribe as well. But until next time, have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right. We're Diamond 3. <laughs> I forgot to say that. I forgot to say that it was uh, the end of the uh, the uh, placements there. But yeah, Diamond 3 already. Wow. So we're almost in Champ 1. Incredible. Anyway, on to the next one soon. Probably in two days. <laughs>